Hello, everyone. Welcome to Small Biz Tips. So a few years ago, I attended this amazing conference in California, and I met this really tall guy, and we just vibe, man. He was such a good dude, so knowledgeable. Um, We stay in touch, and now he's got his own company. Jay, what's up, man? Dylan, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's funny you bring that up, and I tell people the story before. So my name is Jared Thell. I do a lot of paid social and higher education and online courses. So a lot of Facebook uh -huh. and advertising. But when I met uh, you, you know, back in 2020, I was all about just working for a company. The <laughs> idea of my own business never even, you know, fathom. I'm like, that sounds like more work. <laughs> I met I met you and met a few other people. And I went back and I was like, I started thinking. You know, I was right around COVID too. So a lot of things yeah. go around COVID, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I slowly started dabbling and freelancing over the years. I've got I've put you know one foot in and one foot out type mm -hmm. of situation, and over the past few years I've done more freelance and more like independent work, and my income is you know gradually gone up. And as of like a month ago, I'm all in. So wow, we're here for this roller coaster, yeah. Congratulations, man! I'm excited oh, for yeah. you. So I want to go back, right? I want to go way back. You know, tell us about Jay when Jay was like in high school. <laughs> let's go back then <laughs> listen jay in high school was not the jay you see today shy mm. didn't say nothing i remember this girl i wanted to take for prom we hung out all the time we were both too scared to ask each other i never said anything like wow just complete opposite my wife always like she always says i wish i met that guy i, was like, I don't know he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like super quiet super shy um you know so what happened what what shifted uh, you know what i this is, I'm sure a lot of younger siblings can relate to this. Um, I got out of my bigger brother's shadow and went mm. to college by myself. Mm. And even then, it took me a while, you know, because I was homesick, you know. You were, I was the first one, like, to leave another state. So it took a little while for me to, like, find the right people. Yeah. And I, made this I didn't find, a, I didn't find a route, the right people or the wrong people, because I had fun in college. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Please shake out the experience in the movies. That was uh, it. Was so much fun, so much fun. Wow. Um, yeah. So that's that's kind of how I became just more confident about myself and just mm -hmm. just grown over the years. You know what I mean? Now, now I, I want to go a little bit now further out. Right? You you said you've done a lot of freelancing. Uh, you've worked with a lot of businesses. You do pay ads. What has been like your niche in that space? <laughs> Uh, it's funny because the first job I ever had, marketing job I ever had, was at a school. And at huh. the time, I didn't know I'd be still doing that years later. And it was, you know, it was for like it was AmeriCorps. It was like I, I got paid no money because I got paid twelve grand a year. I was just like mm -hmm. getting my foot in the door. Um, and I was like, God, it's kind of weird working inside a school because you know these little you know third, fourth graders <laughs> like go back to my time. And I didn't think of that the job, and I moved around a couple agencies, and then another job came along that worked at a vocational school. Mm. Uh, and dude, I loved it. You know, it's a, it's a nonprofit. We help folks who just life didn't go their way it, okay. for whatever reason. So we help them get GEDs, and they got you know certifications for electricians and like construction, mm -hmm. and they went off and did good things. Um, That's but amazing. I, yeah, but you know, nonprofits they don't pay that well. Yeah, and a SaaS company came knocking on my door. They're like, "You offering what?" I was like, "How much?" <laughs> dude. <laughs> And now profit, the leadership pissed me off anyway, so I left and took a huge bump. Mm. Uh, did that for a while. Then, uh, again, schools came knocking on me again, so I just, I'm still here. So at this wow. point, I'm all in education, you know what I mean? So. so I'm curious, right, because there's a lot of, like, for example, universities and trade schools that doesn't really know how to market themselves online. Tell us more about you know that process how do you work with them what platform how do you suggest okay you should market yourself on this platform you know how do you go about doing pay ad with them tell us a bit more about that that world since you know that's kind of like what you do yeah the biggest thing which i've seen this in from k-12 all the way up to university is the people you're dealing with like you said they don't understand marketing uh, but they think their school their product is the best in the world so they are extremely biased about their program. Oh. They want to say what they want to say. So, you know, they will talk about how amazing the school is or, uh, you know, when it comes to paying ad copy, y'all, you only have so many characters to get someone's attention. <laughs> so 
So they would have put the name of the school, name of the program, all in the first two sentences of the character limit, and then like you not even say anything. And so I really, I really, I really hone it. I do this for any, any client. Like you gotta understand, this is not about you. Uh -huh. So when I start putting out ads, if you don't like them, that's good. You're not. It's not for you. you mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to please you. Yeah, you that's know, I've true. Had the, I've had issues before, where, like people like I don't like it. Well, it, it's not for you. I did at the one school, the uh, vocational school, that uh, was the number three in, in the company. She had like a PhD, extremely intelligent. Mm -hmm. She saw one of the ads, and she's, "Hey, Jay, come here and talk to me." She's like, "I saw this ad," and she's like, "I don't like this, 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 this." I said, "Oh, you applying?" I just stared at her. <laughs> you applying? She looked at me. She was like, "What? Are you applying?" No, I was like, "Oh, so it's not for you." It took her a minute to click. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't change the ad. That's so a gem, man. Her. Yeah. No, because like, you gotta think about it, right? It's it. The ad is for that audience that you're targeting. So mm -hmm. you know you gotta let the expert do what they do. Now, yeah, with that said, yeah. what have you seen work when it comes to advertising and targeting? You know. Yep. students to for specific schools yep and i would say with targeting it's more about your messaging you know okay. you can use there's, there's a million different tactics right facebook platform linkedin it's, we can go to 100 different ways uh -huh. but when it comes to the messaging i would say any tactic marketing for students is one this is a journey uh -huh. the odds of them applying right off the bat are slim you're not selling uh -huh. t-shirts it's going to take a while and you really got to lead with what's in it for me as in mm. the person you're talking to. What's in it for me? Because they don't care about your rankings or anything, like that, how yeah. cool you are. I, I mean, I, I remember seeing an ad one time. I couldn't believe it. They're like, we were ranked the like third most beautiful campus on the on the, in the country. I was like, you got to be joking. That's that's what you're going <laughs> with? It was like for like San Diego State. It blew my mind. Like, so, you know, and I'm a paid social guy. So Facebook, LinkedIn. So to me, yeah. that's offense. I'm trying to go after you when you whether you're looking for me or not. Google, you know, attend base, they're looking for stuff, so it's a different story. But if I'm on office trying to get your attention, I have to say something to get your attention that fits uh -huh. you. And there's a lot of ways to do that, but no matter what, you got to lead with what's in it for them. And mm. under realize, you know, you got to find on stuff. Like, it's, it's soft touches. It's, it's going to yeah. take a while, because some of the programs I run, these are 80, 90, $100,000 degrees. Yeah. This is not an easy decision. No. You're not going to decide in a week. You know, I, I think a lot of schools, they don't understand. Okay, you take, take the money out of it. You take the money out of it, right? Uh -huh. But then you got your schedule, uh -huh. the stress, uh -huh. the family. All that has to take into account for you to get this degree. And you know, make sure that that return investment is, yeah, it's is worth it. It's yeah. got to be worth it. So I know people with master's degrees make no money. Uh -huh. That's true. And it's, you know, so you better make sure it's right for you. So when it comes to messaging, like it's got to be about them, one percent of the time, one percent. No, that's that's super valuable because you know at the end of the day, if that message don't resonate with them, then they're not gonna move forward. And because it's mm -hmm. such a big decision, right? You're gonna put like you're gonna take out a loan for fifty, sixty, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars to go to a school. Yep. You gotta make mm -hmm. sure it's right for you. So. Let me ask you this though, like, you what are some of the success stories you have working with some of these universities uh, in the past? Mm -hmm. You know, what have you seen when someone filling out an ad to like maybe enrolling? What are some of those yeah. stuff you've been seeing? I'll tell you a story I, I've done before. I've told a few times. This is like this was like close to my heart. Mm -hmm. Um, back in uh, I worked at a vocational school, and I was like, I did mostly Facebook, and then I got in the chatbot building. So before mm. chat GPT, way before all that, this is like <laughs> a couple of years ago, it was more like, if you, you know, mini chat, it's kind of the same thing. Um, and then we worked at a radio station as well. So we did multiple avenues. Uh -huh. And then the radio station was like, hey, Jay, we, every once in a while I do promotions, we got this thing, uh, Carter Beats coming in town. Now, this is what she was like, just coming out. I uh, couldn't mm. do this now. Hey, you know, for 5K, we can do promotions with you for uh, Carter B. I was like, what's the wow. marketing budget? I'm like, okay, wait, so $5,000. I put a chat bot together. I do a website landing page together. And I do a Facebook campaign. All right, you know, so let's, let's do this. So all wow. in, it was maybe like $7,000, right? Campaign launched about two hours in. I have someone from Roll Wind saying, come to my office, like, Jay, what are you doing? Like, people are flooding this thing. What are you doing? Wow. Like, 
like it was backed up for like three weeks. Like it, the system couldn't like process it. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, look like that. Now, were they all good? Absolutely not. No, I think we ended up getting about seven hundred ish leads. Half of them were bad. Half of them were good. Mm. We built that enrollment pipeline the fastest in history. That's just, amazing. Just based off that, you know, because you know it's most of it was like the radio play, but the strategy behind it all, like you know, yeah, at people come, everyone comes to the same landing page, and it had a form. It's called gravity form, so it's conditional logic. You know, are you here for the ticket? I boot them out. I don't. I don't even care. Gotcha. So if, gotcha. You, if you if you stay if you stayed if you like interested, okay, then you enter a drawing for the ticket. And the young woman who won, I had her come down to the school. We took a picture, made a big deal of it, put it on social media, and like bam, That's it worked amazing. like mad. It was crazy. It was crazy. And I did a lot of campaigns with Facebook too, and LinkedIn as well. But that was like the whole basic strategy, because you know Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, they're just tools. Let, Alone, let they ex- only do so much. Go ahead. I'm I'm curious, right? You said something here, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google are all tools. And sometimes people will say, oh, Facebook don't work or LinkedIn don't work, right? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that as the expert? <laughs> that is user error. I, just, oh, I literally just put out an uh, article on LinkedIn about, you know, understanding Facebook ads for the modern day higher ed CMO. And I was like, look, Facebook ads work. It's either it's something you're doing or your expectation is too high. Mm. Like Facebook has Facebook been around now for what 20 plus years, longer than any yep. other social platform. They got more data than anyone here. The platform works. This is what are you expecting it to happen? What are you trying to do? If you're trying to sell a hundred thousand dollar programs saying apply now, expect <laughs> somebody to apply now, you a fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's thing. true. You like, know, like you know, yeah. You better get I'll some. Let... You'll get some trickle through. You'll get some real, honestly, because there's people who want it, but like, it works. That's why people, so many people use it every single day. Mm-hmm. It works. It's, if you're having issues with Facebook ads, nine times out of 10, it's some what you're doing, your expectation, you're not tracking it right. There's so many things that can go wrong if you know what mm. you're doing. And I see, I see a lot of like TikTok stuff, like, you know, your Facebook ads aren't working. It's probably this. Dude, if you tell me your Facebook ads aren't working, I have no idea why. I'm not in your account. <laughs> But I'm yeah. pretty sure you're doing something wrong. You know? <laughs> no, this just... is this is true. Like people don't understand these companies have twenty plus years of data on like mm-hmm. billions of people. So <laughs> you're, you're, who be looking for is on there. And same with LinkedIn. It must, it's expensive, expensive. I was like, is it though? You get mm. that mind sense, you know, eight dollars per click. Do you measure your campaign by cost of clicks mm. or outcomes? Mm. You know. Is it yes? And it does it cost more money? Yes, but are you using it the right way? Exactly. And again, if you have a software service that you know costs ten grand a month, and you're using a LinkedIn Legion form, using mm-hmm. a, a Legion, a Legion man, and ask them to download a, a PDF, and they're not calling you back. Well, why? Why, why would they? They wanted the PDF. They didn't want to talk to you. It takes a while. Like yeah, education and like you know SaaS companies and things are big purchases. It just takes time. So a lot of people say Facebook ads, Google ads, Google ads don't work, and they work just fine. But on the back end, they suck. The sales teams mm. aren't on the point, or leads are falling through. They're not contacting. That happens all the time. Even education, like they get they get a lot of leads, but like, yeah, you know, three days later, that's on you. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't fix that. So, so wow. Now I, I love I love it because people have to learn how to manage their expectation. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So we we definitely got to have you come back to do a, like a whole master class on this. So, um, <laughs> <if> some <laughs> as a business owner now, right? What is that one small best tips you would share with any entrepreneurs that may be just starting out that been doing a freelance thing? Like, what have you know that one thing that you've learned throughout your experience so far? Trust a person in the mirror, man. That's mm. what I would say because. There's a lot of doubters in your inner circle. Sometimes it could be come from a spouse, could become a relative. Like you got to believe in you. I uh, mm-hmm. said I learned that years ago. Like I always double down on me. Like I, I'll put more in me than I ever will at any company I work for. That's mm. just that's, that's foolish. Um, it, it it takes a while. There's no shortcuts yeah. unless you're born with that spoon in your mouth. It's gonna take a while. So you got to keep going. I wish there was like some quick, easy way, but. There ain't mm. one, man. <laughs> I love it. There isn't so, one. So, 
how do people get in touch with you, man? If they want to work with you, if they're on a school or they're thinking about buying a school and they know mm -hmm. they're going to need some marketing, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, so my website is Jamaro83. It's Y-A-M-A-R-O-8-3. And you can find me on LinkedIn, just J Rathel, J A Y R A T H E L L. And like I said, it's higher education, college, universities, online courses. There's a lot of online courses out there. Not as many as COVID, but you know, it's the same thing, man. It's the yeah. same thing. So that's where you find me. I love to talk. Anybody wants to talk? And yeah, that's me. Sounds good, guys. Check out Jay. He is amazing. I know him for years and I can definitely vouch for him. What, wait until you hear some of the clients you work with. You're going to be pretty <laughs> surprised. Thank you again for jumping on, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.